you see the temperature late morning at PIX11 Plaza in Midtown, 16 degrees. That doesn't include the wind chill, which of course makes it feel even colder. It's why you see people bundled up. It seems like that's the case everywhere. So we're wearing about 30 million layers of clothing <laughs> right now. <laughs> Head to toe, are you wearing long johns? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but somebody who knows firsthand says it's no laughing matter that they're doing the right thing. I'm an emergency medicine uh, physician. So right now um, we do see people with falls, cold exposures, and the like. The first is something called frost nip. That's when you might step outside to grab the paper or your mail and uh, or a package, and you notice that your hands might start to um, lose their color a little bit. They might come a little numb. Anthony Young was experiencing just that. They feel numb a little bit. <laughs> Will you be getting indoors anytime soon? Um, the train, train, train. It's heated. Yeah. Without getting out of the cold or fully covering exposed skin, frostbite is next in this kind of cold. It's cold enough to freeze bodies of water like the pond in Central Park, but venturing out onto the ice can be hazardous. In Baisley Pond Park, Queens, is where firefighters John Fis Ami and Connor O'Malley had to throw on their cold weather rescue suits and pull two people out of the frigid water. Many people come to the Bryant Park fountain to view its icicles, but it's not fully frozen over as it's done in the past. A weather historian gives some perspective. On this very date in 1985, it was two below zero. Um, in 1994, on January 19th, it was also two below zero. We haven't had any temperature that cold since. And by the way, the doctor in that story says the pandemic is terrible. But one aspect about it, the fact that many people have cloth masks, means you can put them over skin to keep it from being exposed. If there's one thing that can help, well, that's one. Do it. Reporting live from Midtown, I'm James Ford, Pix11 News.